and shelter in place. We must continue those strategies if we're going to protect lives. And now we have a way to track how well the majority of us are sticking with the social distancing rules. Here's investigative reporter Danielle Lee. Most of us, if we're still working, are doing our best to be productive from our couches. And if we're lucky enough, maybe a home office. There is no question that the city that never sleeps is looking pretty sleepy these days. So we know people aren't going into the office, but are we actually staying put in our homes and staying apart? To help answer that question, we turn to cell phone location data. Get a look at this. In early March, before this stay at home order, the typical New Yorker was traveling just over three miles a day. In Connecticut and New Jersey, it was just over four. Flash forward to the last two weeks. In New York and New Jersey, people are typically traveling less than 200 feet from their homes. In Connecticut, travel has been about twice as much, a whopping 400 feet. So basically, we're all staying at home. The change is more pronounced in certain counties. In Manhattan, people were already traveling less before the order, about a mile and a quarter a day. But in other places like Suffolk or Orange County, New York, and Sussex and Monmouth County, New Jersey, that drop is a lot more significant, where people tended to travel over five miles a day. What we've been hearing from a lot of infectious disease experts is that part of the problem is that a lot of these stay-at-home orders haven't been consistent. When you take that same cell phone data and spread it out across the country, you see a lot of other states, particularly in the South or Midwest, slower to make similar changes. And we are now seeing more cases pop up in some of those locations, places like Louisiana and parts of Georgia, Florida, and Michigan. This exponential, the so-called exponential curve that you're talking about does have people worried. This is not prophecy. We can slow this down if people practice social distancing. People are just not following it as closely that as closely as they should. I think we can all agree these stay-at-home orders are tough. But doctors say it really is making a difference in the fight against coronavirus. 